Joining me now from the offices of Saturday Night Live is Mike Myers. How you doing? How's it going? It's going okay. Tell me about Wayne's World. I mean, obviously, it's your own past in a lot of ways. Why don't you tell me how it came about? Well, um, I uh, grew up in the suburbs of Toronto, and uh, it was, you know, just basically the group of people I hung out with who, uh, you know, we used to just take the, you know, take the red racket into town and uh, sort of an adolescent suburbia heavy metal thing. Yeah, so you were into it as much. I mean, this wasn't just you looking in from the outside at a bunch of guys. You were actually one of them, right? Yeah, I was. But I was the, the guy who was going, oh, come on, guys. You know, don't whip snowballs at cars, you know? Someone could get hurt. <laughs> and they're like, Myers, why do you hang out with us? You know? <laughs> so you were the wimpy guy in the group. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there must have been a point where you were able to see it for what it was in terms of the parody value. When did that strike you? I mean, when did it sound, wait, I could get a character out of this sort of thing? Uh, uh, immediately. Uh, <laughs> I, they're just, uh, they were sort of uh, funny people to hang out with. And uh, uh, I don't know, I, got, I guess I never really sort of had sort of an analytical, hmm, look at these noble savages I'm hanging out with. <laughs> hmm, look at their low forehead denoting stupidity. <laughs> and, you know, that sort of stuff. Do you have to change anything about Wayne's World for the Americans, or do they just get it the way we get it? Uh, I think they, they get it the way we get it. I, I think there's a certain homogenous, suburban, uh, adolescent, heavy metal experience. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like uh, the thesis of, a, of an essay I'm writing. Um, I, th I think it's just sort of, um, you know, just hanging out and being a goof. You know, basically. Yeah. All right. Second City to Saturday Night Live. Things are going well, but what happens to you? I mean, you sort of start looking around towards L.A. and, gee, maybe I'll start making movies and then I'll, you know, I'll find my way down there. And I, I mean, do you ever pine for Canada or is this all fame and stuff? Uh, I pine for Canada. Now, I, I love it down here, uh, uh, but, I, you know, I'm a big hockey fan and, you know, I, you know, I miss the Leafs and stuff and I miss the familiarity of Toronto and... Um, I'm, and my whole family's there and stuff, and my best friends and stuff, so I, I miss that, certainly. The way they do things um, down there, though, I mean, the way they do their comedy, even, and the scale of everything, is it, is it making you come up with different mm -hmm. kinds of characters? I mean, as you walk around New York, do you sort of think, I've got to start doing rap guys, and I've got to start doing guys who do three-card Monty and all that, or are you still finding yourself going back to your own roots in Canada for the characters that you come up with? Well, I think you can only write about what you know. And... Uh, you know, I mean, I can, you know, I can sort of look at somebody in New York and say, boy, that would be a great character and uh, not know anything about them and it'd be horrible. So <laughs> I think you can only write about what you know. So when do you end up cannibalizing yourself to the point where you've run out of Canadian shtick to throw into American comedy? <laughs> well, uh, I, I actually, I really don't do anything that's terribly Canadian. Uh, the only thing I did uh, um, was uh, the hockey was playing hockey with Wayne Gretzky, which was the thrill of my life. Was it? Oh, are you kidding? Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> you know, and he, uh, I got his hockey card, and I brought it, and I said, would you sign it? And he said, oh, you don't want me to sign it. And I said, of course I want you to sign it. You're Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> That's right. And he signed it, and he gave me his home phone number in Los Angeles. Are you too afraid to use it or anything? Uh, I phoned him on his birthday. Was he there? Uh, no, he wasn't. I was relieved, because I was afraid to use it. <laughs> and... and <laughs> But uh, I called him and I said, well, you just tell Wayne happy birthday from Mike Myers. And you felt like he, like, the he guy wouldn't know who he was or anything like that? From Saturday Night Live you met a while ago. You might remember. Red hair from Toronto. Forget it. <laughs> so you hang but, up embarrassed and you figure, oh, well, I tried, right? Yeah. So what's next? I mean, are you going to stay with Saturday Night Live until somebody comes to you to do something else? Or are you going to cut your ties and hope for the best, maybe move to L.A. and become a, a big star? Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> I'd have that, please. Um, I'm just, I just got here, and I'm just real, I've always wanted to be on this show since I was 11. So I'm, I'm just really happy to be here. You've really been a fan of the show for that oh, long. Oh, yeah, yeah. When I was growing up, the only things that we were allowed to stay up for were um, SNL, Python, SCTV, and any Peter Sellers movies. In fact, we were encouraged. We were given coffee and sugar. To and, stay up. And slapped if you fell asleep or That's anything. right. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> this is your Pizza future. Pizza right? So That's do right. your parents get a kick out of all of this? Oh, yeah. Yeah. My, uh, my mom went to Lambda in, uh, in England. And uh, she was an actress. And then um, my father uh, was always very funny. So they're really, really happy about it. Well, listen, good luck. Oh, thank you kindly. Take care of yourself.
All right. See you later. All right. Bye. Nice talking to you.